All right, we're on the air. Um, uh, giving you a, a hearty, your how about shimmy how shy, Barack thumb to all you brothers out there, apostles, elders, uh, priests, um, soldiers, captains, generals, <laughs> uh, teachers, and so forth, whoever you may be. Um, uh, this today's uh, topic of um, Apostle GMS. Is going to be entitled and the rest were blinded and that's uh Romans the 11th chapter and the uh seven the last line in the seventh verse but i'm going to have uh the apostle rhyme lob start from the first verse and read down to maybe about the 10th verse and pretty much this is like an open forum because you know either you have this truth or you don't have this truth you could be an israelite you can know that you're Israelite. You can know some scriptures. You can have the 12 tribes sign, but you still could be lost. They still can be blinded. And basically, this is boiling down to who are the men that the Most High, you know, are really dealing with, you know? Because, I mean, a good indicator is if you, a indicator is if you see a guy singing a song, like he's like a night, like he's a nightclub singer and uh, he's a black, Wayne Newton, Mr. Las Vegas, <laughs> you gotta, hey, you gotta mock that man, you know, guys selling t-shirts, not like we're saying, if, if, if people sell t-shirts, it's not, it's not a sin, you're not breaking the law, but the, the focus is supposed to be on, on teaching, teaching his word, man, Comfort, comforting you with these scriptures, because you got a lot of wayward uh, doctrines out there, a lot of madness, so we got to keep going over that. And you got a lot of people that are lost in their mind, man. They're picking a certain guy. Well, that's the guy I'm going to go with. No matter what he says, you're just going to blindly follow him, man. Anyway, um, I'm going to pass it on to you. Khan, yeah, this is uh, Romans 11 chapter. You know, um, because, you know, when you when you read the scriptures, you know, there's, there's always been uh, uh, prophets and teachers and leaders of the people that always were uh, were uh, tapped you know uh, you know spiritually uh in their in their in their spiritual mind uh by Yahweh by Shimei Shai to go out and give a message uh to the people and um when they would give that message to the people of Israel the majority of times Jake wouldn't listen you know and and it's not it's not because they didn't want to listen it's because the lord blinded them you know when you go back and, and when you go back to uh when we were uh getting ready to get out of egypt we could have easily uh um came out of egypt the very first uh time that moses went before the pharaoh and uh through you know through the uh the staff down it, it turned to a serpent and all that it could have very easily uh let israel go right there but the scriptures say that the most high hardened pharaoh's heart you know, so that's the same thing with, with Jake out here today. The Lord has blinded the minds of two thirds of them. That's why they can't get it. You got a scripture, Pastor Kabal? Yeah, uh, to back you up, uh, the Romans, uh, Romans nine and eighteen. It says, "Therefore have he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth." That's right. So that backs up what you just said. That's right. All right, and that's even among the nation of Israel. Oh yeah. The ones that he hardened is the two thirds. The ones that he he will have mercy on on this trip is the one third. Right. I, I mean that's just plain and simple. Reading on it says, "Thou will say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? So here it is the heavenly Father harden you, but st still he's going to come back and judge you, and he can do that. Why? Because he's the heavenly Father. All right. That's why the Apostle Paul is going to say this. Thou will say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? Yeah, if the Lord blinded a certain amount of his people, why is he going to turn around and still judge them? When he blinded them, uh, the Apostle Paul says this, for who have resisted, um, for who have resisted his will? Nay, but, O man, who art thou that repliest against the Heavenly Father? <laughs> Shall the thing formed, what's the thing formed? Us here, right? The nation of Israel, right? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Who's the one that formed the nation of Israel? The Heavenly Father, right? Why hast thou made me thus? Okay, so 
the, the point is, you can't reply against the Heavenly Father. If His will is to blind you, then you're going to be blinded. If His will is to uh, bring you to the truth and uh, open up your mind, then you're going to be led to the truth, and your mind is going to be opened up to the truth. So that's what it comes down to. The, the will of the Heavenly Father, what He wants done. Right. You know? You got it. Yeah, this is uh, Job 12 and 16. With Him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are His. He leadeth counselors away spoiled and maketh the judge judges fools. He looseth the bond of kings and girdeth their, their loins with a girdle. He leadeth princes away spoiled and overthroweth the mighty. In, in other words, he controls everything. God. That's why his name is Yahweh. Yahweh means I am or he is, meaning he controls everything. He controls both sides, good as well as evil. And like I said, if he want, if among the nation of Israel... Certain he's going to blind, have them blinded spiritually. That's two-thirds of the nation of Israel. One-third he's going to bring them to the truth. He clearly says that in, uh, in the book of Zechariah. Let me see if I find that. Because it ain't about how you think or how you feel. The Lord already said in Isaiah 55, he said, Let the wicked man forsake his way and what? The unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the heavenly father. So it ain't about your emotions or your thoughts or how you think or how you feel. No, it's about... It's about um, the Heavenly Father's plan. It's about His will. Uh, let me see if I find it. Zechariah 13. Okay. Zechariah 13. Yeah, Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass. Now we're reading the will of the Heavenly Father, what He wants done. That in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That's two-thirds of Israel. The nation of Israel. But the third shall be left therein. That's where we get the scripture for the one third. And I will bring the third part through the fire. He didn't say the whole nation. He said I will bring the third part through the fire. What is that fire? The nuclear missiles and the chariots. All right. That's America's destruction. Pretty much uh, not just America. Destruction in certain parts of the world where Israelites dwell. Okay. How is it going to be destroyed? By fire. Okay. <laughs> Uh, second Peter, what is that? Second Peter, the third chapter. I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. That's the elect. That's the one third. And will try them as gold is tried. They shall call in my name and I will heal them. Another thing too, the one third believe in the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, which we were taught is Yahweh, Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. We're going to stick to that name and that's the meaning of that scripture. They that stood so stiffly for the for the name of the Lord, because you got these other groups that they they they're uh, uh, you know doing away with the name. There's either they're saying we don't know the name, or they're they're um, teaching different names like G O C C. You know the singing banshee himself. <laughs> Talking about the heavenly Father's name is what Ahia, and his son's name is Yeshaya. Now you see why he's so bugged out, man. All right. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call in my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my power. So in reality right now, the, the Lord's people, his real people right now is the elect, the elect of the nation of Israel. Starting the, with us. Yeah, starting with us. That's right. As a matter of fact, let me add to that with Galatians. Now, this scripture, I first heard Elder Apostle Tahar bring the scripture out. This was years ago, okay? And uh, this scripture nails it. Uh, Galatians 6 and 16. Well, let me start at 15. For in Yahweh Shai, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. Because the big uh, conversation piece back then was circumcision. You had certain of the Jews that wanted the new proselytes the new brothers that came in, they wanted them to get immediately circumcised, which is a hard thing, man. For a grown man to get circumcised, that's a hard thing. That's why the Lord tells us to do it when we're, what, eight, eight days old. Um, reading uh, the 16th verse, And as many as walked according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy and upon the Israel of the Heavenly Father. So who's the Israel of the Heavenly Father? The elect. It ain't talking about the whole nation. So, you know, that's pretty much it. You got it, brother. And um, this is uh, Romans 9 and 6. 
It says, not as though the, the word of the Most High had taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel, because not is every Israelite out there is a part of the elect. And so, you know, you got guys like Nate and General Yohanna uh, and Bubba Lies and, you know, others that are trying uh, to gain, you know, trying to reach every single Israelite out there. First of all, the Most High is not reaching out all of Israel out there. The Lord is only reaching out for his elect because he has a purpose and a plan. So by you uh, claiming that, that you're going to go out there and just gather all of Israel, you, you, you're trying to go over the, Most High, over the Most High's head. You know, because the Most High is not, is not looking for all of Israel right now. Why the hell you think he blinded them? You know, the, the criteria is, 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 is uh, if, if when, when, the, when the word hits you, if you're a part of the elect, there's something inside of you that's going to ignite and, and it's going to cause you to, to uh, your eyes to be open and for you to understand and believe this word. Not everybody's going to have that. The elect also have the oil. That's right. You know, what about the parable of the five, uh, the ten virgins? Yeah. Five that were wise, five that were foolish. Right. You got to have your five foolish virgins out there. And we're seeing, we're seeing who that is. Yeah. Okay. Again, a, a good example is that singing banshee. Okay. <laughs> the singing banshee. Uh, I got a scripture to back you up uh, about the elect. Uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter, beginning at the 30th verse. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. That's Yahweh Shai. And then all the tribes of the earth shall moan. Why? Because Yahweh Shai is also bringing destruction as well as salvation. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. That's the chariots, so-called UFOs, with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So that's, that's plain. Who Yahweh Shai is coming to get, uh, get. All right, so this is Romans 11 and 1. It says, I say then, has the Most High cast away his people? Remember, he's speaking to the Romans. Why? The, these Romans that he was speaking to were Israelite foreigners. Because the consensus back then was that the, the Jews, the wicked Pharisees in them, and even among other, other Israelites, the consensus back then was that the other tribes, you know, if you weren't in Israel, if you weren't calling yourself a Jew, then you weren't a part of this, no matter if you were an Israelite or not. It says, I say then, had the Most High cast away his people, the Most High forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. It says, and you know what? What's funny is that uh, Paul wasn't born in, in, in Israel. Paul was born in Tarsus, you know, of Cilicia. Even though he was, you know, he, he knew he was Israelite when he was born. He wasn't born in the region of, 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 of the Israelites. You know, he was born outside of that. He said, uh, the Most High had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. So he's speaking to these, these Israelites in Rome, letting them know, look, you're still the Lord's people. And then he went in, in, into explaining why. He said, which he foreknew, what ye not, what the scripture saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. So did the Lord uh, um, uh, reserve all of Israel? No, he reserved a certain amount of men that then bow down to the image of, of uh, Baal. And that happened in many different times, different time periods. During the time of the Hellenization of Israel, there were certain Israelites that didn't bow down to, to the Greek customs. And this, this time that we're in is no different. And to back you up, the image of Baal now is that chip. That chip. And you're going to have a lot of Israelites that's going to bow down to the image of Baal. Meaning they're going to take that chip. Yep. yep. It, says, um, it says, even so then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace now grace is what grace is something that the lord like when you when you have a bill you know that you have to pay you know in certain cases they'll give you like a 10-day grace period or a five-day grace period or however long the grace period is but after that grace period you know you have to pay so the the grace period the, or the grace is that the most high uh, uh chose certain israelites and 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 sealed them you know, with, with, the, with the spirit of election, you know, from way back then, from the foundation of the earth. 
and the grace period also is the period we're in now yep. before all hell break loose we're being showed grace so we can learn this truth because there's a time coming man when it, 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 all hell is going to break loose you know a lot of israelites are going to be being put to death a lot of judgment a lot of destruction you know um the scriptures that speak about rachel weeping for her children that's the prophecy that's a lot of judgment coming upon the nation of israel man it says here in Deuteronomy 27, 18, it said, Cursed be he that maketh the blind to wander out of the way. The way is the truth, and all the people shall say, so be it. The word there is amen, but I put so be it, or let it be done. Now that means two things. In other words, if a man is physically blind where he can't actually see, don't lead him the wrong way. But it's in the bigger sense, it's talking about the truth. So you got a lot of these guys that claim that they're high priests and uh, elders and top teachers of Israel, and they haven't sw they haven't um, uh, eaten the whole roll. So they're going out teaching what they have to teach, and what you're doing is you're blinding the people. And I told you guys before, I so said all you Israelite groups out there should close all your accounts and just start watching the apostles of uh, GMS and the men under them, man. We're the ones that's teaching you, to, giving you the truth, man. We're leading you to the right way. Give me uh, 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 Isaiah 30, verse 20. Nate is not teach, leading you the right way. He's got a whole bunch of blind people all around the world, and he's leading them the wrong way. The same thing with the GOCC. That's why there's one brother out, out of Chicago that broke off uh, from uh, GOCC, uh, Elder Ricard, as they call him. And um, he's he's doing his own thing now, but he's been in contact. You know, he he left me a comment. You know, uh, and I left him a comment back, and I believe he left you a comment. Basically, what well, what happened was he don't got to come out here to get with us. He 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 got with uh the brothers out there in um Chicago, the leaders out there in Chicago, GMS, and they sitting down with him, and he don't see everything. But um, I mean, like I said. If 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 he's of the elect, he's gonna see the whole thing, and we we don't have no what reason do we have to teach you wrongly, yeah? We don't have no reason, so it's up to you. If you can't see it, the scriptures say, "Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind." So that's showing your sincerity, but that means you got to get down there. You got to search, man. You got to go. You might have to go on a fast, you know. You yeah, you might have to do a lot of praying, and you're gonna have to do a lot of studying. So you can see the truth because we lead you the right way. Now maybe you don't think that's the right way, but we're leading you the right way. So it's up to you to search and find your own way. Ultimately, be fully persuaded in your own mind. Let me read that again. Cursed be he that maketh the blind to wander out of the way. Like if you teaching that Cornelius is an Edomite, that's taking a blind man and lead him out of the way. If you teaching him that. Uh, if Mary Mary never had sex with Joseph, that's that's leading a, a blind man in the wrong way. And Ariah is part of that, man. Ariah is leading the blind in the wrong way. Shaw, High Priest Shaw, is leading the blind in the wrong way. Uh, uh, General Johannes is leading the blind in the wrong way. Nate is leading the blind in the, the wrong way. They're all leading the blind, blind in the wrong way. The only ones that have this truth, Zabak, is leading the blind. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the wrong way. We are the ones with this truth, man. You come to us, you're going to get nothing but scriptures and, and nothing but lessons on, on these scriptures here, man. I got another scripture. It says Leviticus 19 and 14. Thou shalt not, and this is the law. Since Nate talks about how much he keeps the law, thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but sh shalt fear the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem Shai. I am Yahweh. Let me read that again. Thou shalt not curse the deaf, deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but thou shalt fear. Thy, thy power, I am Yahweh. So a stumbling block is when you, um, give me, give me some more examples. 
or hell that if you 